Globally, about one-third of all diarrheal deaths in children under five will occur because of rotavirus. CDC estimates that rotavirus infection leads to about 55,000 infants and young children being hospitalized each year in the U.S. These infections rarely lead to death in this country, but in developing countries, rotavirus gastroenteritis is estimated to cause up to several hundred thousand deaths among infants and young children every year. Rotavirus is so common that almost no one makes it to the age of five without having had this infection. But in the pediatric emergency rooms, we see so many children who end up hospitalized. It's highly contagious. I often hear of families who have more than one child with this at the same time. A few months ago, our two-year-old daughter had gotten what we thought was just a run-of-the-mill stomach virus and uh, was vomiting and had diarrhea. And She seemed a little better in the morning, and then all of a sudden she just became rapidly worse. I mean, it was just constant vomiting, constant diarrhea, and so we went to the emergency room, and by the time we got there, she was severely uh, dehydrated. People try to prevent rotavirus through good hand washing by cleaning surfaces, and those are important, but the best protection for children is through vaccination. There's actually two companies that make a rotavirus vaccine, and they're made a little bit differently. One product is given at the two-month, four-month, and six-month visit, and one product is given at the two-month and four-month visit. And the reason we want to get it into babies early is that it's usually that first rotaviral infection that makes a baby so sick. Both vaccines are about 95% effective in preventing severe disease and perhaps about 85% effective in preventing moderate disease. The same vaccine reduced childhood hospitalizations for severe rotavirus by nearly 80% after just one year of use in the U.S. Well, in clinical studies, Rotatec prevented about 74% of all cases of rotavirus gastroenteritis and nearly all of the severe cases. It also prevented about 96% of hospitalizations.